Hey guys, uh, my name is Vikas. I'm a PT trainer here at uh, Bangalore, India. Today we're going to discuss some methods and techniques uh, with the help of which you could get full marks on the highlight correct summary question type of the listening section. Uh, I've also explained the same with an example, so practice along. If you've got any questions or queries, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you found the video useful, please subscribe to the channel to keep updated. So let's get started. Alright guys, let's get started. So today we we'll learn some methods and techniques that we could use to get full marks on the highlight, the correct summary question type of the listening section. Now guys, this is uh, kind of deceptively difficult uh, because you know, some of the lectures can be really deceptive, you know, the options in front of you could uh, kind of be uh, slightly ambiguous right so how do i go about avoiding it or how should we go about avoiding making mistakes with this i will give you the methods and techniques as to how you can go about doing it before that let's just uh, quickly have a look at the example here right so here's what uh, the example will look like you know you'll be presented uh, you'll be given about roughly five seconds to prepare and uh, you know you probably just have to mark the correct summary so i will uh, go ahead and play this video in the later half of this lecture just before uh, we do that i just like you to have a look at this example all right now that you had a quick look let's just uh, skip back to the methods guys the the most important step here is keep your headphones on and keep your notes ready okay now Payful the second step is that you pay full attention and listen carefully to uh, this uh, the reason why you need to listen really really carefully with this particular question type is because like I told you earlier the lectures can be deceptive you know it could lead you to make some uh, marking some ambiguous options just to avoid that make notes of important keywords and important concepts to make uh, to avoid marking ambiguous options okay the step three will be noting down important concepts and keywords like i've told you earlier nouns verbs adjectives right important concepts people places etc make a note of them uh, you know once you've made a note of them it becomes really really easier for you to just go ahead and um, you know mark the correct option step four is of course uh, you know match the concept and the words that you've noted down in front of you and mark the correct option in case you're uh, unsure of the correct option just make sure uh, you use the elimination method eliminate the wrong one so you'll be left with the correct option okay uh, remember to attend all the questions this does not contain any negative marking regardless you should not be spending more than two minutes because uh, you know with the listening section it's really important that you reach the right from dictation section or the right from dictation question type with ample amount of time because that can break and break or uh, make your marks okay and uh, one more technique that i would recommend is don't read the options beforehand it could lead to uh, you know prejudice so just make sure uh, you know you you start with an open mind just start making notes uh, use the elimination method or just go ahead and mark the correct option okay now that you guys know the uh, method let's just quickly go back to the example you guys uh, could pause the video any moment uh, just go ahead uh, get your uh, notes ready with you keep a pen and paper handy i'm going to play the video now uh, in the comment section you could leave uh, the uh, answer for this right you know uh, consider it as option a b and c or one two and three okay i'm starting the audio now how did i get into anthropology well I'm not an anthropologist, not trained in it anyway. In fact, I'm a marine biologist, and it's more that I'm interested in the strand lopers, the beach walkers, if you like, than in anthropology generally. In fact, it was through my early interest in all things to do with the sea that I first heard of them. As a kid, my favorite pastime was getting down to the beach and mucking about in rock pools and collecting anything the sea tossed up. And, um, the strand lopers lived off the sea and seashore, gathering food such as 
mussels, oysters, crabs and so on, just as I did. So when I heard of them, I thought, right, this is my kind of thing. And I felt a kind of, well, affinity for them. At first, people thought they were a myth. I suppose because there didn't seem to be much evidence for their existence. But now we do have archaeological evidence such as pottery, discarded shells, the bones of seals and large fish and so on. And those shells, we believe, became their first tools, and in some cases were also used as money and jewellery. Of course, before they had the implements, the um, tools to hunt and fish, everything had to be caught by hand, so they kept mostly to shallow water. Then they might have used a primitive form of fishing line, perhaps the tendril of a climbing plant or a strip of animal skin with a bone or small piece of wood that would stick in the fish's throat. Anyway, the more we search, the more we discover. Most recently, caves on the coast have been discovered with ancient drawings. I find it endlessly fascinating. Awesome. Uh, I hope this uh, audio was, uh, you know, clear enough. Uh, you know, if there were any ambiguous noise, um, uh, guys, be certain that you will not have uh, a smooth journey during your SPT exam as well. You know, there could be possibilities of, um, you know, any ambiguous noises around your center. Um, so, any which ways. So please go ahead and uh, leave a comment below with the correct answer. If uh, you need any explanations, you have any questions or queries, please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, if you'd like to contact me, I've uh, left my uh, email ID, phone number below. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, have a look at this method once again. If you'd like to pause the video and make notes, please go ahead. This is Vikas signing off uh, PT lectures. Thank you once again. You guys have a great day.